Okay, we're 1,600 feet MSL, looking for a 1265, which is the decision height for Yakima Island running a 2-7 approach. The weather set at the minimums. I'm going to pause it when we reach the middle marker and see what the required foot, uh, see what we see in front of us as far as approach lights and runway environment. In the middle marker. Okay. All right. There was a little bit of lag in the on top, but generally, in real in the real world situation, if it's exactly half such a mile of visibility, you break out of the clouds. When we're over the middle marker, we should be at least be able to see these decision bars here. So the Yakima approach, Yakima approach line system is a MALSR, and this is kind of the diagram of what the approach light looks like. So what we're seeing here is the decision bar, which is a thousand feet from the threshold. And generally the middle marker, if the approach has one, is 0.6 nautical miles from the threshold, which is about 3,600 3, feet. So if you take the 3,600 feet, subtract this thousand feet, when you're over the middle marker and you see these approach lights, or this decision bar here, you have at least 2,600 feet such a mile visibility, which is greater than the 2,400 feet required for the approach. So under Part 91, if the tower, the AWOS, or ASOS, whatever, is reporting below um, the required for the approach, and you shoot there, but you just be prepared to defend your position and say, well, I had this. I had uh, this bar in sight when I was over the middle marker, so therefore I had at least 2,600 feet and that should be sufficient.